<laughs> Someone please call 911. I say just about anything. <laughs> Hello. How y'all doing today? Today I'm going to be talking about men. Oh no, Sanfe. No, 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 not us, not the men. Let me tell y'all something. I know men love to get down. No matter how old they are, they do not want to give up the sex. It's amazing. I don't care if they're 60, 70, 80, 90. They still try to roll in the hay, y'all. And when they can't, what do they do? They go to the doctor to get the little blue pill. Well, I'm going to show you a video, y'all, of a man who went to go get the little blue pill. A man who used the little blue pill, but it didn't turn out right for him. Now, when I was married, let me say this first, okay? I knew something was wrong when I was having sexual relations with my husband. Been married three times, I ain't gonna tell you which one. <laughs> that thing felt like a stick. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me, man? It's not comfortable. Felt like he was poking me and stabbing me with a stick, a knife or something, a bat, I don't know. But it doesn't feel natural, okay? I was with my husband, y'all. Okay? There was no rubbers involved. So you can't say it was the rubber, okay? Rubbers don't feel like that. I don't know, women. Let me know if y'all have this same experience. But sometime in your life, within your lifetime, man, you got to let it go. You got to let it go, honey child, or you gonna kill yourself. That little blue pill can kill you. Oh yes. I want y'all to look at this video, but make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Do that for me. And I wanna thank all the people who bought the soap for me. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it when y'all do that. So go to GabbyRidgeSoaps.com. Thank you so very much. All right, moving right along. Here we go. Listen closely, man. What can happen to you? Listen. As y'all can see, I'm not here at the emergency room. <laughs> oh, <I'm, laughs> I told y'all, man. I get up and go get my check. My phone rang. I said, boy, come get me. I need to get to the emergency room. I said, I'm on the way. I'm on the way, man. So I get out to the house. He come outside wrapped up in a blanket. <laughs> I said, damn, huh? what's wrong with you, man? He said, boy, get me to the emergency room. He said, I'm still standing. I said, what you mean? <laughs> Y'all, he I took that, unfold that damn blanket. I'm still standing. <laughs> still standing. He said he took three Viagra. Three? Because Sister Ruby said she wasn't getting enough. <laughs> Ruby, bad. We got in here. We got in here. Then the, the nurse said, "She said, what's your symptom?" He said, "What?" He said, "I ain't got no symptoms." He said, "I got a headache, and I'm seeing white shit. My thing up." <laughs> and then the little white girl said, "Oh my!" <laughs> I couldn't stay in there, y'all. Come out. He said, he said, he said, I told that woman, can you give me some Nova K?
<laughs> she, she said, no, we can't walk up this. We got to draw blood. <laughs> he said, he said, he said, do whatever you want. Cut this motherfucker off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Please help me. Cut it off. I told that joke about a month ago about taking them damn Viagra pills. <laughs> he told that nurse he didn't want no more pussy. <laughs> he didn't want no more. He didn't want no more pussy. Ugh. I don't like saying that. I don't want no more. I don't want no more. I don't want no more pussy. <laughs> And that old boy, he said, he was just beating up my dope hell and shit. <laughs> I thought he gonna, I thought he gonna knock the glass out my damn door. <laughs> that motherfucker heard y'all. Who he in pain? I'm fucking pain. Who <laughs> the fuck? Go kill him. <laughs> He told him to cut that motherfucker off. <laughs> yeah. As y'all can see, I'm not here at the emergency room. <laughs> that is crazy. Sister Ruby. Sister Ruby like, come on now. You got to go longer than that. He probably took one pill. <sighs> probably finished. I guess he finished. That didn't work. Sister Ruby still wanted to go, but he only took one pill. Come on now. Come on. You, you got to handle this thing. You got to bust this thing out. <laughs> so he took two and three more pills. <laughs> Man, what kind of dumb ass is that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man, when y'all get those things, don't the doctors tell you? Don't they tell you how you're supposed to use it? Don't they? He could have killed himself. He said he don't want no more poontang. He don't want no more. But that ain't the word he says, y'all. I don't like to say that P-U-S-S-Y unless I'm saying pussy cat. Okay. But he don't want no more after that. I don't want any more if I got to suffer like this. Well, sir, you did that to yourself because... Most people got more common sense than that to take three Viagra pills. And men also don't you know, especially if you have heart problems, any type of health problems, you're not supposed to be taking Viagra or anything like that similar. You're not supposed to do it. It could kill you. Some men have died trying to have sex. Now, I know you feel like you're still a man, but you know what? There's another way, other ways to please your woman. There are other ways, you know. Lick it instead of sticking it. That's what you can do now. Or if you don't like to lick it, you know she ain't clinging all the time. Then there's other things. You got fingers, okay? You got fingers. They got dildos. They got other type of toys. But that ain't doing nothing for me. Well, maybe you can get her to go down there. But what's the use of her going down there if that thing is not going to stand attention? What's the use of that? Huh? You can't get an erection. That's why you're using the little blue pill. <sighs> now, that was an awful situation right there. That was funny. It was funny. It probably wasn't funny when it was happening. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he was... <laughs> Dying inside. <laughs> I don't know if he's telling the truth about his uncle, but I think he was. Ain't got no reason to lie. So, man, be careful with that stuff, okay? All right? Don't you want to live a long life? Don't you? San Fei, I can't live without sex. If I got to live the rest of my life, Without having sex, this would men be thinking. I'd rather just die. I heard a guy say that once. If I can't have sex, 
I'd rather die. I said, well, get ready. Get ready to meet your maker because pretty soon, okay, he was already in his early 50. Pretty soon, you ain't going to be able to use that thing, all right? Get ready to die, all right? Get ready to die. What you going to do? Kill yourself? Jump off a cliff? You know, shoot yourself or stab yourself? What you going to do, huh? You going to have somebody else to do it for you? Get ready to die. Because pretty soon, man, that thing is not going to work, all right? Even if it's working out, oh, my family don't have no problem. Your family probably lying to you. Your daddy probably lying to you. Your uncle, your brothers, and everybody else probably lying to you that they think still working. They getting some help. Especially if they around in their 60s, late 60s, 70s, and 80s. I'm telling you, that thing is not swinging, okay? Not standing straight. It's swinging. It's dangling. That's what's happening to that thing. That's why they call it a dangling, because it be dangling. Go down there and tell me what y'all think about this. Man, 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 are you taking something to please your wife, to please your girlfriend, friend? And if you're not, are you trying to help your wife to get off? Get off, 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 off. <laughs> yeah, I know I can be silly sometimes. I know. With all that being said, y'all, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And watch the next video coming up. Thank you. Yeah.